hey everyone, this is Daryl from Daily Crypto Trade Signals coming to you live from Vietnam, guys. That's our evening time, uh, drive time update, guys. I'm just sitting by the pool here in Hue, just at the resort right now. And things are looking pretty good. We can see that Bitcoin is going up, guys. Bitcoin is about to uh, blast off and hit $44,000 in the house, guys. Phantom is on fire as well. Phantom is uh, just hit over $3, so that is cool news. That is great news in the, in the house, guys. And we're seeing that all the crypto markets right now are turning green, green, green. Absolutely, we're going to see Dogecoin is going higher. Dogecoin is getting pretty close at 18 cents right now. And we're seeing that also Shiba Inu is making some moves right now as well. So all the crypto markets are looking pretty good. Everything is looking pitchy keen. So guys, if that sounds interesting, we've got lots to talk about. I've got some more news, more evidence. This is absolutely insane in the membrane. This is huge news, guys. Huge news. We just had, uh, you know, a solo miner hit a block, guys. That's really cool in the house. And I've got some, uh, you know, some data from, uh, you know, Caesar in the house. And one of the huge TA guys and Alan Wu in the house who also confirming that we have hit the bottom, guys, and we're going to the moon, guys. So if that sounds interesting, if that sounds great, don't forget to, you know, go down there, smash the likes, subscribe, don't forget to comment. And remember one thing, this is not financial advice, it's just an OG in the house expressing his opinion. And uh, this is for educational purposes only. So guys, let's go down the crypto rabbit hole whole together let's get it guys and if that sounds cool guys don't forget to smash the likes again once again once again once again so right now guys and gals don't forget to go back and watch all of the other videos right now you're gonna love it you're gonna love it so is this crypto market going up is it going to go down what's happening guys i'm going to answer that i'm going to talk to you about that i'm going to give you a clear clear path forward and if you think having a clear path forward is important watch this video to the end guys let's jump into it right now without any further delay so right now we're seeing that the the pre-markets have just turned red a little bit i'm not too worried about it guys and gals in-house so you know we have a little bit of a red on the pre-markets but it's just slight uh, slight everybody i think that we can turn to the upside pretty soon and and things are going to be looking good you know we might go down a little bit uh, based on the pre-market activity now but it's too it's too soon it's absolutely too soon to call it you know as we get closer to the markets opening this could easily shift to green could easily shift to red we're seeing the 10-year bond is up right now so that is kind of uh, indicative that we could see the markets uh, going uh, the markets going down a little bit uh, so will it have much of an impact on crypto I don't know at this at this point but I think not I think overall people are understanding that the best hedge against against uh, inflation right now is going to be uh, is going to be crypto guys and particularly particularly uh, my biddy so you know as we as we all heard in the previous video the inflation uh, figures came out and it was around about 7.1 that's the highest inflation since 1982 ladies and gentlemen so you know what we need to be doing is we need to be looking at uh, absolutely other forms of uh, hedges against uh, inflation and you know gold is a bit of a Debbie Downer gold is also down uh, as well this year so it looks like Bitcoin and crypto is the only huge the best play in the house right now so we're seeing that uh, Bitcoin right now is up it's a you know hit forty four thousand uh, dollars I think it's going to retest forty four thousand dollars later today when the US opens so good afternoon good morning wherever you guys are don't forget to show some love and support and if you're loving this channel like I'm loving you guys smash the likes come on guys show some love for the OG in the house I'm working for you I just want to say it's a great blessing it's a great pleasure to be here to be able to talk to you and for I also want to say thank you for taking your precious time out of your day to come and watch these videos guys and remember this channel is about building community about building love and about learning learning together living together loving together so that's what it's all about guys and we're seeing that right now Bitcoin is just about to flip and uh, hit forty four thousand dollars in the house so I'm so excited right now we're seeing the top top 10 mentions on Twitter right now of course Bitcoin phantom as I said phantom is on fire phantom is definitely going up it's about 10% from its all-time high of three dollars and 86 cents uh, but we're definitely over three dollars last time I checked we're gonna confirm that and jump in the TA in a second and we got ethereum we got Vila Solana dogecoin dogecoin is if you look at the social sentiment for dogecoin we're gonna jump into that it's also looking pretty good right now so then we got uh, Shiba Inu in house we got Lox rare Cardano and Harmony so Harmony is also making some huge moves so this is totally insane 
one one in a billion guys a second tiny miner solves a block so as you guys know uh, if you mine Bitcoin with an ASIC miner like an ant miner or something and you know you're running you know 50 to 100 uh, terahashes this is just a small you know homegrown mom and pop kind of mining operation and the chances of you hitting a block uh, you know solving one block of Bitcoin right now is very rare it's like one in a billion guys so some guy he just did it he absolutely just did it on Monday a tiny miner and successfully solved the block with a modest hash rate of about 126 terahashes and he was solo and he was solo mining uh, out there and he he hit the block guys he absolutely hit the block and that means that this guy he's gonna get about 6.25 Bitcoin as a reward and that equals about two hundred and sixty six thousand dollars in the house and you know and that's huge guys so the chance of that is happening is insane it's so insane it's so lucky and it's so very unusual that this this is happening so and this happened twice guys also on January 13th we you know we had a solo miner Colin Colvis did it guys and also earlier earlier this uh, just recently we also had another guy that also did it as well uh, so this is kind of huge in 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 the house guys so each of these miners may have been mining on just one or two machines and will take home 6.2 five Bitcoin so it's huge guys the chance of that happening is like one in a billion so good for them good for you guys so it just shows that even the small miners in the house the mom and pop miners in the house can actually be successful so first decks on Oasis network hits 100 million in TVL so that is pretty good so the U Yuzu swap on Oasis networks has just hit a hundred million TVL remember uh, Binance backed this up uh, Oasis Network as well and they invested about 200 million dollars in this so that is pretty good and it just goes to show that the demand for decentralized exchanges are continuing and continuing and we're seeing that a lot of retail investors right now are getting more savvy more engaged and understanding how uh, DEXs work you know basically what you do is you go to a decentralized exchange like uh, a spooky swap a sushi swap uh, you know one inch curve all of these uh, decentralized exchanges basically you connect your MetaMask or trust wallet or whatever wallet you're using you can even you can even connect your uh, hardware wallets as well and you basically can exchange uh, currency you can exchange from one uh, cryptocurrency to another this and that so that is huge guys and it's also important that a lot of these a lot of these DEXs like pancake swap uh, a spooky swap out there they also have uh, liquidity pools they also have farming pools and these allow you to you know stake your uh, crypto on these platforms and get huge 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 apys you know on uh, on um, a spooky swap if you if you uh, have a, a you know liquidity pool of usdc and uh, and phantom right now you're getting about 99% apy so that is really cool guys remember this is not financial advice i'm just trying to educate you guys what's going on so it looks like german online bank n26 to launch crypto trading uh, business this year so this is pretty good so if you're part of this uh, German online bank you can also do not only save fiat transfer fiat receive fiat you'll also be able to also um trading crypto and that's similar to we have you know Revolut in the UK have done that as well they allow you to buy on their platform same like Pay PayPal UK they also allow you to buy crypto on their platform but however you don't actually own the crypto because if you want to transfer you can't uh, you have to sell it back to fiat and this and that so it's kind of like a Robin Hood deal you don't actually have the real wallets right now but you know in time that's going to be coming and speaking about that there are more and more rumors uh, spreading that we're going to see Shiba Inu uh, listed on Robinhood very soon and we're going to see those hardware walls so that's going to be a huge catalyst in the house for Shiba Inu right now and Visa just surveys shows that 24% of all small and small medium business plan to accept crypto payments so Visa kind of did a study and it looks like a lot of small and medium sized businesses are saying look we need to start accepting crypto as part of a payment offering to our to our clients guests and customers and uh, that is going to be uh, uh, you know what's going to really help drive their businesses forward so it looks like visa is going to be listening that's why you know visas they've they've you know they have these incubation incubator programs right now and they're working with di di different kind of fintech and digital platforms that are going to allow that so this is really cool that uh, looks like visa is aping into that and you know at some point you know in the future you're going to have a visa card and when the bill comes you're going to be able to pay with cbdc fiat or crypto so that is huge huge in the house guys so hopefully you guys are loving it i'm loving it 
so it just goes to show the crypto revolution is here guys u.s banks form a consortium to mint usdf stablecoins so it looks like a number of banks in america are forming this consortium to work together to create a fully regulated stablecoin so this could be you know it, it, it's not actually a cbdc but it's going to be a regulated stablecoin so they're working with that they're going to be working with the usdf usdf consortium in association with the federal deposit insurance corporation fdic uh, is going to be working together and these banks that are in this consortium are new york community bank nbh bank first bank sterling national bank and sinovus bank in the house guys so it looks like they want to be able to uh, release their own stable coin and they want to have it uh, redeemable and back one for one for cash so this could be huge guys this could uh, definitely help uh with that kind of thing and usdf is to operate public providence blockchain uh, on an enterprise proof of stake network and they're going to be doing that uh, hopefully soon guys so hopefully this is going to happen and that's going to also help the adoption and fuel the adoption so let's jump into this right now so this is from alan Ooh, and he's kindly predicting that basically right now we're seeing the bitcoin is rebounding woo in the house guys and we're seeing that uh, if this impulse move plays out we could see a high of 74,000, a middle between 62 to 40 to 64k low of 46 to 51k and he's saying that by mid january to end of march we could see these new highs coming in I think it's going to be earlier, but he's saying if this impulse fails, we could see that uh, Bitcoin could actually uh, retrace and go back down to uh, $32,000 to $37,000 in the house. So we're looking, this is kind of looking like the Wyckoff pattern a little bit. So we're looking at this impulse here. If this impulse does continue to the upside, we could be definitely seeing these levels coming in, as he said, you know, mid-January, end of March. I think, I think it's definitely going to happen. A lot of people are saying that we could be seeing huge highs, $75,000 incoming we got morgan stanley we've got some you know swiss banks are also saying that so things are looking pretty bullish overall guys so if you think bitcoin is looking pretty bullish tell me what you think do you think hitting 74k by the uh you know end of end of march is going to be possible guys let me know in the comments don't forget to smash the likes give a super chat if you're loving this content like i'm loving you guys so this is from uh this is from uh, crypto caesar in the house and as we can see the dxy which is the us dollar uh compared to a basket of currencies we can see that the us dollar is going down diddy diddy down down like the titanic and this is often good for crypto often good for uh bitcoin because when we see the dxy going down we often see that crypto that crypto goes up particularly uh, Bitcoin and if Bitcoin is going up you know what's going to happen so this is uh, from crypto season he's saying that the bottom is in and we've seen the bottom of the log log logarithmic regression band today at 27.8 and we're seeing that coming in right now and you can see right here we're at, we hit the bottom of this band right right here guys right here let me get it right there we hit the bottom of this band right here guys and it looks like this is a confirmation that we've hit the bottom so crypto caesar saying that this is confirmation we've hit the bottom and this is huge and bullish news in the house guys so let's just take a look at that so we can see that uh, we've hit the bottom of this band right here and that, that is confirmation 100 percent confirmation from my perspective uh, that we've actually hit the bottom and that is huge news so this is we could see some bullish upside for bitcoin coming soon guys so we're seeing that bitcoin right now on the weekly we're seeing absolutely we're going to close the weekly candle in the green guys so we haven't seen that in two weeks so this is huge news and it looks like um we're we're bitcoin is at 43 thousand eight hundred thirty nine dollars i'm pretty confident if the uh, u.s pre-markets can hold and can turn green that we could absolutely see we could absolutely see a forty four thousand dollar bitcoin coming in so i'm pretty confident of that we can see right now that uh, on the daily right now this is a binance uh, daily chart we're seeing a little bit of red right now but overall this is not too bad not too scary in the house we're seeing that the macd is turning green right now it's turning green so that is very very good sign we're seeing that with you know we're going to see this uh, death cross probably come uh, later today the 13th of January 14th of January depending on your time zone and I believe there's going to be a huge short squeeze because we have about 750 million open options right now and a lot of those are short positions we're going to jump into that in a second and we're seeing right now that uh, Bitcoin is looking pretty good and it's uh, you know I, I think it's going to be heading up to the upside so that is very cool in the house guys so let's just uh, refresh these uh, so we're seeing right now in the last 24 hours we're seeing about 
123 uh, million dollars worth of leverage positions being wrecked right now and you can see that everybody is betting against the Bitcoin guys I have no idea why the retail investors every single time they leverage trade they get it wrong guys they always bet in the wrong direction never try to get out outsmart the market because uh, the market always outsmart you 99% of the time guys and it's at only 1% that make money and 99% of the uh, others will lose money because remember this is a zero-sum gain remember uh, the the wealth gets transferred from impatient hands to patient hands and that's just the way it is that's and, and that's that's just a crypto game guys and if you want to be successful in crypto what do you got to do it's very simple guys you got to have diamond hands you got to be patient that's it just be patient and uh, dollar cost average if you have the chance to and if you don't have the chance to don't worry about it if we look at the uh, if we look at right now the informatics in the house we can see that uh, dogecoin right now is at uh, 17.39 and that's up about 10.41 percent so that is looking quite nifty 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 so everything is looking pretty good and we see that 57 percent of all the investors are currently in profit right now and uh, 34 percent are out of profit so that's not looking too bad and we're seeing that the, the total correlation right now is about uh, 0 0.97 in the house so that is looking pretty good and if we look at the if we look at the if we look at the chart right now we can see that we're hitting around about 17.35 uh, in the house in the house and uh, that is looking pretty bullish and uh, we could be hitting 18 18 cents pretty soon uh, so overall this is looking pretty good and if we can hit that uh, then the uh, next uh, the next resistance level is around about uh, in my opinion the next resistance level is probably around about 20 cents and I don't think that is I don't think that is huge resistance I think that's very light resistance uh, and 18 cents is definitely in the cars guys we see the Bitcoin has the Bitcoin momentum is looking pretty good we see that the social sentiment is also looking pretty good right now so let me just refresh the social sentiment right now the social sentiment is kind of off the hook right now so that is looking pretty pretty good in the house so we can see the social sentiment for uh, dogecoin is absolutely uh, it's going up guys and that is positive news if we look at the uh, the on-chain data for uh, Shiba Inu right now on-chain data for Shiba Inu we're seeing that Shiba Inu let me just give this a quick refresh make sure we got the updated uh, info there so yeah it looks like uh, Shiba Inu is up as about 0.74 percent right now and 50 percent are in the money 43 percent are out and the correlation is about 91 uh, between Shiba Inu and Bitcoin so you can see that Dogecoin is making some huge moves right now making some moves in the house and that's why we see Dogecoin on uh, the number of mentions is going up we see the social sentiment is going up we see more Ethereum whales buying up the Doge like crazy so this is huge huge in the house guys so you're gonna love it I'm gonna love it so let's get it right now guys so if we take a look at the Shiba Inu price in the house now we did form this huge W pattern that took us to the upside we did have a huge wick up and this wick was a beautiful little wick and uh, this wick uh, took us almost 8% up and we, this W pattern we broke out from the neckline and we hit it exactly as I told you would and now we are forming we're absolutely forming a we are forming a bull flag now we did have we did have uh, an impulse to the upside up to this level here we got rejected a little bit around about a 33 level so you can see that if this pattern forms out we should be seeing a target a target for Shiba Inu coming in around about 34 so I'm looking at 34 coming in and right now uh, Shiba Inu is at 32 so just let it settle a little bit I think we're gonna absolutely break out to the upside so let's take a look at the t total TVL locked on change right now let me just give this a minty refresh so we can see right now if you look at the chain the uh, total TVL locked in chains right now we can see that uh, that Ethereum is down uh, is up to about 2.17 percent Terra is number two BSC uh, Avalanche in the house and Solana but look at Phantom guys Phantom is on fire it's gained about 18.79 percent uh, in the last day and if we look at the uh, market cap the TVL we can see right now that Phantom is about 1.1 so that means that and the Phantom uh, is undersold guys it's undersold has a lot of room to grow so when you're looking at this this uh, DeFi Llama and you're looking at the total D TVL locked you want to look at projects so you can see that BSC 
ESC is oversold right now. Oversold. You can see Avalanche is still okay at two. You can see Solana is a little bit oversold because you know people have been talking about it. Been people have been you know talking to talk talk. There's a lot of hype, so people ape into it. People ape into it. So I really believe that Phantom has a lot of room to grow. You can see that Matic is at 2.9. It's so so okay. Tron is also okay. I don't like Tron. I wouldn't go into Tron. We can look at uh, Arbitrarium, but that's not listed right now. So you want to you want anything anything that has a TVL to market cap ratio under two is pretty good is looking pretty good guys so that is huge in the house guys so things are looking pretty good so if you look at Ethereum right now Ethereum right now is trading at 33.54 in the house 33.58 in the house and uh, you know I believe that we can still punch past that $3,500 in the house so let's take a look at uh, Phantom right now so Phantom is well above the $3 level right now is at 3035 it did uh, it did hit a high today of um, it did hit a high today of a, a 3.12, so $3.12. I think we're going to get back up there. Like people took a little bit of profit, but things are looking very, very good for Phantom in the house. And if you look at uh, Chainlink, Chainlink is uh, losing a little bit of ground. Not too much, not too much. It's only down uh, down on the daily here, about 1.72%, and we're at 26.32. But our my uh, support line still holding, still holding, so hopefully we can continue to go up and not break out to the downside on that. So let's take a look at the total market cap right now so the total market cap right now is 2.14 trillion so that's looking healthy guys looking healthy we're seeing that the total volumes is 68.02 billion in the house and we're seeing that bitcoin dollars is about 38.73 so that is looking pretty good so let's jump into the coins in the house right now so we're seeing that uh, bitcoin is up almost it's up almost 2.7 percent is that's 43,838 i am very very confident that we're going to see 44,000 dollars coming in and we're going to continue and we're going to stay there and then we're going to get our next level pump to the upside we're seeing that ethereum is up 3.51 percent is at 33.61 dollars so that is looking pretty good we're seeing that bnb is up also 4.55 percent and that's at 485 dollars we're seeing that uh solana is on fire it's up at 7.2 percent it's at 151.80 ada is up 5.4 percent at one dollar and 30 cents we're seeing luna is up 6.26 percent and that's at uh up at, at uh, 82.29 uh polka is up three percent that's 29.99 we're seeing Avalanche is up as well. It's at 95 cents. We're seeing that um she, they we're seeing that Doge is up 12.77%, so that is fantastic. Doge is love and love is Doge. We love the Doge. And we're seeing that the Shiba Inu is also up as well, 13.47%. And uh, Matic is also doing so so. It could be doing better. And it's at 2.39 in the house. Link is looking okay. It's only up slightly right now. It's at 26.34, but it's going to come back. We can see over the last uh, 30 days, it's up 46%. It's up 9% over the last seven days. So when everything was going down, de -de 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 down, 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 uh, uh, link was doing pretty good so let's take a look at phantom where's phantom in the house phantom phantom so sand is also up as well theta is up uh, we're seeing harmony is just doing very well it's up 13 percent right now so things are looking pretty pretty good in the house so let's take a look at phantom where is phantom 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 so phantom in the house right now is up 8.14 percent it's at three dollars and four cents and we're about 12.2 percent from all-time high we're up 136 percent in the the last 30 days so guys and gals this is fantastic fantastic i picked up some phantom this morning guys i absolutely did so i'm loving it you should be loving it guys so with that being said guys don't forget to uh, go to my twitter and uh, follow me on my twitter guys get it get it get it follow 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 we got uh, 3668 followers on twitter follow follow get the tips get the tricks and uh, you know you can dm me if you got a question guys and uh, don't forget to go down there smash the likes subscribe and don't forget to comment 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 and uh, also don't forget to check out the og merch guys gear up with the og merch absolutely gear up guys what are you waiting for get the gear and don't forget to go and check the wifi wifi's channel and uh, go on over there show some support and i just want to say to everybody out there do go back watch my other videos share the video links in your socials guys god bless you all i'll see you in the next one this is absolutely uh insane guys absolutely insane i love it you love it let's get it right now